Well, hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Zakthiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene. And in today's episode, we've got a parlor style guitar from Hex. Looks beautiful, sounds beautiful, plays beautiful. Before we get into that, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. So we've got the Hex Sting P300G in Sunburst, looks beautiful. The appointments are just stunning, I mean they're just literally stunning. Reminds me of one of those high-end uh, parlor guitars. Uh, it does have laminate back inside, so it's not really really a very high-end guitar. But at 19,000 rupees, uh, you do expect it to be of a very good quality. So no fret ends at all, okay, uh, had it for a few weeks and frankly speaking, there's no movement on the fretboard, so that's really good, okay. I love the specs of this, so um, here are the specs. Those were the specs of this instrument. At 19,000, you're getting quite a lot, okay? Um, enough of uh, talking about this guitar. Let's see how it sounds. We're going to have a dual condenser at the sound hole, a pencil condenser at the 12th fret, okay? Um, there is no pickup, so it's just going to be those two, some finger picking stuff, some soloing, and some strumming. Let's get to it. That was the playthrough. What do you think, man? Is it worth the money? Worth the money? Let me know in the comment section below. Is it worth that 19,000 rupees on Procraft? I have been given this guitar uh, as a part of, uh, uh, you know, a review package that I have with, uh, with them. However, I'm free to say whatever I like and, you know, I'm going to. So, this is me, man. This is me, you know. So, yada, yada, yada. Now, Will this stay in my collection? It's good enough to stay, to be honest with you. But I think uh, I'll probably move it on because it deserves to have a, a home where it's going to get played a lot. Now, this is really good for, you know, youngsters who don't have, you know, a big reach. So maybe a 13, 14 year old uh, child. This is a very, very good premium, well set up guitar for, uh, you know, a kid. Even uh, people who are not too big, you know, who are not too tall, very, very nice. Uh, those of you who have small hands, amazing. Very, very, very comfortable, okay. Um, 
for the rest of us yeah it's a parlor style so it's a different playing experience okay it's like strat and less ball almost you could say you know to some extent but yeah i mean i have nothing but good things to say about this i think the solid top makes a huge difference on this instrument because really it really rings out nicely I really really like the sound of this okay I like the look of it I just love parlor style guitars um there's only one problem with this to be honest with you the nut was cut perfectly everything has been set up nicely no issues I did however when unboxing it uh, did find the strings were a bit uh, rusted maybe it was a uh, uh, new old stock uh, if you haven't seen the unboxing of this guitar go and check it out it's in the card above one uh, gripe I have other tuners Now you know their quality tuners from the look of them you know yeah they move but there's a little bit of lag and uh, I don't know I I feel that even with the other hex guitar that I reviewed there was an issue with the tuners so I think this company first of all needs to improve the tuners a little bit okay and secondly at 19000 I think you can do a few more accessories okay it did have a very nice gig bag and an allen wrench but I mean tuner picks Enya and uh, uh, Stridem do that. I mean, Enya does that at the higher, uh, the mid-range to high-range models. Of course, not at the budget range uh, models. But I mean, besides the gig bag, you should definitely, for a nineteen thousand rupee guitar, give. A, we were spoiled for choice nowadays. Give a tuner or give something else with that. I think that would definitely seal the deal for me with this. So yeah, so perfect for those looking for a parlor style guitar and why i like this parlor style guitar is because this pays homage to uh you know the martin o12s basically which have uh, you know the 12th fret meeting the body okay nowadays a lot of the martin os have uh, uh the 14th fret meeting the body which i'm not a big fan of i like this concept i one day will get a martin uh, o12 um, or maybe another o12 solid body guitar for sure I do like parlor style guitars. I have a few of them right now for review. But uh, yeah, all in all, if you're looking for a parlor style guitar in India, I think this is a fabulous option. So yes, it's got a thumbs up from me.